Eh, hey, awak. Awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengok handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. A gravitational field is a region around one mass which can affect the nearby masses. In this region, where a mass experiences a force due to gravitational attraction. Let's say we have a body with a mass of M and we call it as a test mass that plays in the gravitational field region. This body will experience the gravitational field strength at that point and also the attractive force due to the Earth. And this force called gravitational force as we have discussed in the previous video. Maknanya, jika ada satu objek test mass berjisim M pada kawasan yang mempunyai medan graviti, jadi objek ini akan rasa gravitational field strength at that point dan juga daya graviti iaitu gravitational force on that object due to the Earth. So, for spherical objects such as the Earth, the field lines is pointing radially inward seperti yang ditunjukkan dalam gambar rajah. We can represent the Earth gravitational field by drawing the field lines to show the direction and the direction of the gravitational field on a test mass is actually equal to the direction of the gravitational force. As we know, the gravitational field strength in a small region around the Earth's surface is uniform, iaitu sama, which is equal to 9.81 newton per kg, where the field lines around the Earth's surface can be drawn parallel to each other in the same direction, and the lines are equally spaced as shown in the diagram. So, any objects that is located on the surface of the Earth will have the same strength of gravity which equals to 9.81 meter per second squared or 9.81 newton per kg. Jadi, dekat mana pun kita berada di atas permukaan bumi, kita semua akan rasa gravitational field strength yang sama iaitu 9.81 newton per kg. So now let's discuss about gravitational field strength above the Earth's surface. So at any point that far away from the center of the Earth, okay, the gravitational field strength is changing. And the value of G is depending on the distance from the center of the Earth to that point where it is located. Boleh? So for example here, we have three points which are A, B and C. The first point is located on the surface of the Earth, which is point A. So, the cut point A, the gravitational field strength is approximately equal to 9.81 Newton per kg. So, bagaimana pula kalau kita ada satu lagi point which is located above the Earth's surface at an altitude of H? So, at any point that is far away from the center of the Earth and it is located above the Earth's surface, gravitational field strength at point B akan jadi lebih kecil daripada gravitational field strength at point A. Dan seterusnya, jika kita ada satu lagi point which is point C and this point is located far away from the center of the earth dan ianya lagi jauh daripada point B tadi. So at point C, we can say that gravitational field strength at point C is smaller than gravitational field strength at point B and smaller than gravitational field strength at point A. Boleh? So we can conclude that the further a mass which is the test mass go away from the surface of the earth the weaker the gravitational field strength that will experience by that test mass. Okay, kalau kedudukan test mass itu semakin jauh daripada center of the earth dan juga semakin jauh daripada permukaan bumi dan test mass itu dikatakan merasai gravitational field strength yang lebih kecil daripada 
9.81 Newton per kg di mana kita semua yang berada di atas permukaan bumi ini we experience the same gravitational field strength which is equal to 9.81 Newton per kg So now let's discuss about derivation of the gravitational field strength but before that remember the definition of the gravitational field strength it is defined as the gravitational force fg per unit mass m of a body and we call it as a test mass that is placed at a point so the equation ag equal to fg over small m so remember small m is a test mass not a point mass and this test mass is located at any point above the earth's surface for example so now look at here we have a satellite and bila kita sebut satellite means that this satellite is a test mass and the test mass is located at an altitude of h bila soalan sebut berkenaan dengan altitude iaitu h so now look at the direction of the gravitational field strength where the direction is directed toward the center of the earth and the direction of the gravitational field strength is equal to the direction of the gravitational force since equation by the definition ag equal to fg over m so direction of ag is equal to direction of the gravitational force and now let's recall equation for the gravitational force fg is equal to gmm where here we have capital m and small m where capital m is referring to the mass of the point mass which in this case the mass of the earth and the small m is referring to the mass of a test mass which is the satellite okay jadi seperti yang kita dah discuss dalam video sebelum ni kalau kita nak kira what is the gravitational force on the satellite due to the earth kita perlu gunakan equation fg equal to gmm over r squared and remember that small r is the distance from the center of the earth to the location of the test mass in this case this satellite is located above the earth's surface which is small h therefore small r is equal to the radius of the earth which is capital r plus h remember okay so now let's substitute fg into equation ag where when we substitute fg here we can see that we can cancel the small m which is the mass of the test mass and finally we can write the equation of the gravitational field strength ag is equal to gm over r squared tengok betul-betul kita ada capital m dekat equation ag di mana capital m is referring to the mass of the point mass iaitu mass of the earth bukan mass of the satellite jangan salah masuk nilai mass ketika menjawab soalan okey dan yang seterusnya saya ingatkan semula that small r is the distance from the center of the earth to the position of the satellite di mana kedudukan satellite tadi di atas permukaan bumi pada altitude h therefore we can write small r is equal to capital R which is the radius of the earth plus h so now let's look at extra information about the variation of gravitational field strength atau acceleration due to gravity with the distance from the center of the earth kita nak tengok nilai gravitational field strength from the center of the earth to the earth's surface and then kita nak tengok juga apa berlaku pada gravitational field strength jika kedudukan test mass jauh daripada permukaan bumi so look at here we have a graph of ag against r So AG is the gravitational field strength where R is the radius. So the reading of R is start from 0 means that at 0 radius which is the center of the earth. So from 0 to capital R means that it is below the earth surface ataupun inside the earth. So when we look at the graph it is the straight line graph. So from 0 to capital R 
or inside the Earth's surface. So we can say that the gravitational field strength is directly proportional to R. So it is start daripada zero, which is center of the Earth. Jadi semakin jauh from the center of the Earth untuk case di bawah permukaan bumi, nilai gravitational field strength akan jadi semakin meningkat. So we can say that below the Earth's surface, when R is increasing, AG also increasing. And then when R is equal to capital R, which is a point on the Earth's surface, we can say that the gravitational field strength is equal to G, which is 9.81 Newton per kg or 9.81 meter per second squared. Dan jika sesuatu kawasan yang jauh daripada permukaan bumi, where the value of small r is bigger than capital R, iaitu semakin jauh daripada permukaan bumi, kita boleh lihat from the graph, which is above the Earth's surface, the gravitational field strength is inversely proportional with R. Okay, untuk case above the Earth's surface, semakin jauh ataupun semakin besar R dan bacaan gravitational field strength kita akan jadi semakin kecil. Okay, jadi jika sesuatu test mass berada jauh dari permukaan bumi pada altitude H, gravitational field strength at that point will be smaller than 9.81 Newton per kg. Okay, so saya rasa itu sahaja untuk video kali ini. Jika kita nak lagi faham berkenaan gravitational field strength untuk menjawab soalan, apa kata kita buat banyak lagi example dalam video seterusnya. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera. Bye-bye.